when the British colonized the Indian subcontinent in the 18th century, the European idea of the museum percolated to India. Sir William Jones, an outstanding scholar from Oxford, arrived in India as the judge of the old Supreme Court of Calcutta. Besides performing his judicial functions, he also got an opportunity to prosecute his pursuit in India. Keeping this view in mind, his first and foremost task was the foundation of the Asiatic Society of Bengal in order to set up a center of Asian studies. The society, which was an imagination of Jones from the time when he was sailing from England to India, was actually founded within four months of his arrival. Although he was not the first Orientalist of the East India Company to arrive in India, but of course he was the first man to think in terms of a permanent organization of Oriental studies and research on a broad scale. Before independence, Kutch was one of the noted princely states of India, ruled by the Maharao of Kutch. It was a feudal state with predominance of landlords. After May 1948, the state merged in the dominion of India and became a province under the rule of a chief commissioner. On the inauguration of the Democratic Republic of India, it was made a part of C state in 1950. Thereafter, Kutch merged as district in the bigger bilingual Bombay state in November 1956 as a result of reorganization of the states. In May 1960, when the state of Gujarat was formed, Kutch finally became the biggest district not only in Gujarat but in India as well. Although British interference into the internal affairs of Kutch administration had started in the beginning of the 19th century, but it was the reign of Kingaji III which was marked with many historical events. Kingaji III, a noted sportsman, naturalist and ornithologist, was deeply interested in the art, culture and even in the wildlife and behavior of fauna. He extended his support in establishing an art school to encourage ancient arts, handicrafts and traditional industries. A museum was created as a part of the School of Art which was started on July 1st, 1877 under the principalship of one Mr. J. D. Esprin as his signature has been found on some papers related with museum exhibits. This indicates that J.D. was not only looking after the museum but also the art school as its principal. Thus the birth date of this museum can be accepted is 1877 making it the first and the oldest museum of Gujarat. The birth of a museum at Bhuj during the reign of Kingaji III is a milestone in the history of the museum movement in Gujarat. The birth of a museum at Bhuj during the reign of Kingaji III is a milestone in the history of the museum movement in Gujarat. When the museum came into existence, it was named as Ferguson Museum after Sir James Ferguson, 6th Baronet, who was a British soldier, conservative politician and a colonial administrator who laid the foundation stone of the present building on 14th November 1884. The building, which was planned by Mr. Matt Lille, the then state engineer, was constructed at the cost of rupees 32,000 and is built on sandstone, which is located diagonally opposite the Hamirsar Lake. The collection of the museum was developed and enriched by the former rulers of Kutch, and it was also augmented at the time of the exhibition, which was organized in year 1884. Over a period of time, the collection was also enriched by the curators. The oldest museum of Gujarat was opened to public after the Indian independence. As before this public opening, the museum was shown exclusively to the royal guests and the public could have a look at it only on the occasions of important religious festivals. After independence, it was renamed as Kutch Museum Bhuj, the present official name of the museum. During the 141 years of establishment, far-reaching changes have been taken place in the museum. Kutch Museum Bhuj, a regional museum in nature, is basically an art and archaeological museum. Divided into two floors, the ground and the first, the museum showcases the art and archaeology of Kutch district. The ground floor of the museum is dedicated to archaeology of Kutch, which is an area worthy of interest 
both for the archaeologists and the historians. The history of Kutch goes back to the Jurassic period of which very little is known to us. So many prehistoric archaeological sites have been discovered and Dholavira is noted amongst them. Museum has objects related to the proto-history belonging to the Indus Valley civilization. Few original objects were procured by Kutch Museum which is said to have been to find from Dhalavira a small village in the eastern region of the run of Kutch and of course an important and one of the biggest site of Indus Valley civilization in India. It bears the impression of animal nicknamed Unicorn and some signs of Indus script. Kutch is also very much noted for its palias, the memorial stones or funeral slabs which are scattered all over the district. The museum also houses few palias. Kutch district has large reserves of minerals like bauxite, stratite, coal, lime, etc. The museum showcases the sample of these minerals as well. Major deposits are found in Mandvi, Abrasa and Nakhatrana, whereas minor deposits are found in Bhuj, Anjar and Lakpat Talukas. The stone inscriptions of the Kshatrap dynasty and the Abhi dynasty of Gujarat are rare and historically very rich exhibits of the museum. Kutch Museum is having the largest collection of the Kshatrap inscriptions, total 11 in numbers. Most of the stone inscriptions have been brought from Andhav village which is located 20 kilometers away from Dhalavira. Other inscriptions have been found from villages like Mevasa, Wand, Kavra, etc. Museum is also pottery ware from the Harappan times. Museum is having a good collection of coins which are said to have been found from the run and also from some villages of Kutch which establishes the fact that these villages were at point were thriving seaports and were the commercial centers in ancient and medieval times. Kutch district is inhabited by various groups and communities where one can find various nomadic, semi-nomadic and artisan groups living in Kutch. The museum showcases the dharmas displaying the habitat of different communities. To name a few are Kolis, Rabaris, Ahir, Charan, Mutwa, Bhil, Meghwal and so on. Collection of Hindu like Vishnu, Shiva, Sun, the Chauri bearers, Buddhist, and Jain deities are also on display. Apart from it, museum has an image of the sun head which belongs to the 5th to 6th century AD. Apart from these collection, the ground floor of the museum houses the ceiling medallion from Kera which belongs to the 10th century AD, the standing image of Vishnu in black stone, the Buddha image and also few bronze images among which a beautiful standing image of Buddha is prominent which belongs to the 7th century AD. Kutch is the birthplace of many handicrafts carried on extensively from generation to generation. Several industries, mainly in the form of crafts, developed in its natural way due to the trade at Kutch. The old gazetteer of Kutch lists a number of industries and the notable among them were gold, silver, copper, iron, gilding, polishing, mason work, carpentry, cotton spinning and weaving, dyeing, silk printing, shield making, oil pressing, tanning, etc. Kutch has long been famous for its goldsmith and silversmith. Embroidery was another important craft and Kutch is famous for its rich variety of embroidery like chain stitching. Bandhani is another important craft of Kutch. Red, blue, green and black are the colors which are generally used in Kutch for Bandhani. Enameling of Kutch is equally famous. Gold and silver objects were often decorated with Meenakari. Over and above these lacquer work, ivory work, terracotta, Bharat Kam are noteworthy. Representative specimens of the ancient art, craft and industry of Kutch can be seen in the Kutch Museum Bhuj. Kutch embroidery is world famous. It has various schools and important of them are represented by the Mochis, Jats, Mutwas, Ahirs and Rabaris. There are so many important embroidered pieces 
which are displayed in the museum. Apart from the embroidery, museum also houses the collection of Mashru or Elijah, which was found useful in book and album binding during the medieval period. Gold and Silver Objects Kutch Museum has good collection of gold and silver articles. Most of them were made in 1884 during the marriage ceremony of King Aji III. Kutch Museum, a multidisciplinary museum, is one of the very few museums of India that have earned the status and distinction of celebrating their 100th anniversary. The museum completed a century of its existence in year 1977 and to commemorate the 100 years of establishment, the government of India had issued a postal stamp depicting Aravat, a wooden elephant displayed in museum, which is indeed a pride moment and important occasion in the life of any institution.